Are you seeing uh, just about every U.S. merchant is seeing some sales, uh, some global sales growth? But uh, are they as concerned about global right now as they should be? No, not at all. Meaning they should be more concerned about it. They should be. Like, I am seeing it uh, in terms of rankings, in terms of wh what their concerns are. It is hitting the top three list. I always look at the top three list. The top three initiatives that a that a merchant has uh, is what they're going to focus on for that year. I'm starting to see it creep up into the top three. I, we just formed a partnership with Border Freight because it makes it easy for merchants to go out, and so we built the connector to our engine so that it makes it easier for our merchants to go out. You know, what is it, what's right for the individual merchant? But I am getting more requests for international sites, no question about it, uh, all on a single platform, um, and, and that interest. But I think that they have to go that route in order to continue the growth rates. And I will tell you, China, if you look at China and India, I mean, they're off the charts in terms of growth rates, right? So uh, at, our, at our recent summit, uh, where we brought all our customers together, that was one of the top three things I told them they needed to focus on. And I think people are starting to get in tune to it. I think merchants are starting to get in tune to it. You know, you mentioned Border Free. Uh, are there any other, any other global partners you're working with to help, uh, help these customers? I know a lot of a lot of merchants just think, okay, we can do this on our own, but there are so many different, oh, goodness. so many yeah. different things you got to deal with. You know, I think we've had merchants evaluate kind of the border-free model, which I like. If you want, my advice is, if you want to get into it and you haven't done international at all and you don't know duties and taxes and you just want to ship to a U.S. address, Canada's a U.S. sale, and let them take it from there. That can be a very and you and you get have some international presence, meaning you can get some international traffic. That might be a good place to start. Then over time, if you feel you can tackle it, go into one. You go into your top country, whether it's the UK, whether it's Germany, whether it's France, whether it's Japan or China. China is a big a big trick. I won't even get into that right now. But China is harder to go into because you have to host in in the country itself. But outside of that. Um, uh, you, you can then take it country by country. So use a border-free type company for all your other countries. They they cover a hundred plus countries. So I actually think it's a. I'm glad we formed this partnership with them. I'm actually really excited about it. And I do have more interest in it. I'm seeing more of our customers uh, uh, interested in this area.